Tana. Beep, 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 beep. Give some people a few minutes to show up. Oh. I'm tired. Now there's one person. Who is it? Who is it? Let's find out. I'm curious. Hey, what's going on, man? Good to see you, Angus. Good to see you, buddy. How you doing? Hope you're doing good, man. Who else have we got coming in the door? Four peoples. All right. This is great. This is awesome. Five. Awesome. Even more awesome. Oh, somebody left. I guess they don't like me. Hey, what's up, dude? Good to see you, Lucy. Steve the man. What's going on, guys? So, uh, two things, three things, right quick. Number one, I saw a post the other day uh, that apparently somebody in Nukes is madly in love with this traditional holiday flavor called pumpkin spice. I like pumpkin pie, but I don't like pumpkin pumpkin spice everything. But I found this at the store today. Dunkin' Donuts coffee pumpkin spice flavor. So I'm gonna have a comp a little bit later on. And this is gonna be the prize. So I hope you I can't smell it, but I really hope you like pumpkin spice flavored coffee. And just because I got one, I got two. Because I don't buy one of anything. I buy two or three or four of everything. Usually even numbers. So, in the mail today, I got this beautiful thing called the League of Fire Chug Challenge 3. Made with blueberries. And everybody loves blueberries. I mean, come on, who doesn't like blueberries? Okay, you have those people who like strawberries. But then you have those special people that like blueberries, and I happen to be one of the blueberry people. Okay, so enough of that. Um, I can't read what this is made of. I know it's made of blueberries. And I'm on an empty stomach, and I don't care. I'm going to do this chug. I got a shot glass. I got a chug. I got a timer. I got a disclaimer. Oh, crap. I got to read the disclaimer. Um... Let me see here. I, Tracy Freeman, am over 18 years of age. Uh, I'm not inebriated. I'm of sound mind. Um, I'm not going to hold the League of Fire, its suppliers, its manufacturers, liable for any injuries or injury or death uh, happening to me uh, as involves me doing this challenge or multiples thereof. Um... Yeah, pretty much, I think I'm screwed. But I'm still going to do the chug. All right? So, woohoo, shake it up. I'm going to do a review of the awesome. Okay, so here we go. These just came in the mail about 20 minutes ago. Ooh, smells spicy. Let's see. Okay, you can definitely smell the blueberries. And you can smell a spice, but I don't know... I don't know exactly what kind of pepper it is. It, it smells like it might have a little bit of a kick to it. But I don't know. I'm going to find out. So, traditional rules apply. Uh, three minutes. So, if you do the turbo chugs half into the shot glass, they have a nice little line for here on here for you to judge by. And then... Um, Three minutes in between shots. That's for the hot shot method or the turbo method is you just drink this whole baby right on down. Wait four minutes and congratulations, you're now in the lead of fire with four points. If you happen to not successfully complete both halves, but you do half, congratulations. You still get points. That's how generous the lead of fire is. They want you to be in. They know these challenges are difficult. They try to be as helpful as possible. 
They love you. And we love them back. So here we go. All right, so it's got a nice running pour. Kind of a soupy thing going on there a little bit. It, uh, it's not as thick. All right, well, that's half right there at the line pretty much. All right, so here's what it looks like up close and personal. Got some seeds showing in there. Definitely blueberries. I don't know how this is going to hit me later, and I honestly don't care. I just want to do this challenge. So timer set for three minutes and two seconds because I'm too lazy to fast forward all the way through back to zeros. <sighs> Here's to you guys. Shahina, Paul, thank you so much for the um, Christmas gift. Um, that's all I can say about that. Thank you. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Um, thank you. Here's to you guys. Three minutes. Okay, so the burn. Um, it's got a... Uh, it's got a very distinct burn to it. Um, hmm. Mouth burn is more noticeable on this chug than the V2, uh, V1. Um, I got a sneaky feeling that this chug, it, excuse me, I got the hiccups already. Um, I got a feeling that this chug is going to be a, a combination of, um, I think you're going to get both. I think you're going to get the mouth burn and the stomach burn. Um, at first, I felt it going down, but that's gone now. It's just mouth burn now and hiccups. Um, I'm curious to see how this one's going to, going to affect me. Um, I'll go ahead and pour while we're on camera here. Gotta love those hiccups. Yeah. Um, I actually like the taste of the UK Chili Queen Chug, Killer Queen Chug, a little bit better, but I'm, I like garlic. Um, you can taste the blueberries in this. Um, uh, they're a bit of an aftertaste. Um, but that's the way blueberries are. They look good, they smell good, but when you add them to something... There's kind of subtle on the flavor. But you can smell the blueberries. Let's see what people are talking about. While we're waiting on the timer at 44. Has it been three minutes already? Really? Wow. Time flies when you're having fun. Throw 28, 27. Yeah, the mouth burn is actually still there. Um, it's faint. It's fading. But it's there. Um, like I said, you can still... I can just just feel a little warmth in my stomach. That's about it. Um, not, that, not that bad, really. Six, five, four, three, whatever. All right. So there's three minutes down. Timer is reset for three minutes and two seconds. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it is. Mouth burn, like I said, still going. Uh, I'm curious to see how this hits the gut compared to the other challenges. Hmm. So who do I give this one to? Um, eh, nukes. 
because a year ago, this time of year is usually re really hard on me. And last year I was really struggling. And um, I discovered the new chili heads. I don't know how I discovered you. I don't remember that part. But um, I've been welcomed in and found a home uh, right away with nukes in nukes and um uh this year i haven't had any problems with depression at all compared to all the past years and i think that a lot of that has to do with personal uh growth and development and coping mechanisms and also i know that a lot of it has to do with my nuke family um you guys are always so supportive and encouraging. Um, anybody that's been in the group for more than a day can see that. And uh, hopefully, uh, they all get to experience it. So, with that being said, I love you, Nukes. Yeah, you can definitely taste the blueberries. All right, so this one's going. And we'll just set that right here. I got a cup of coffee right there. I'm really wanting some of it. Yeah, the burn in the mouth, is it's, uh, it's not bad. Um... It's not overpowering. It's not overwhelming. It's enough to let you know it's there. It's not uncomfortable. Um, actually, I think the mouth burn is comparable to the Pocky One Chip. They seem similar to me as far as mouth burn goes. Um, uh, stomach, um, I got nothing, honestly. Um, I don't know how it will sit, you know, in 30 minutes or an hour. I don't know how it's going to do. Um, some challenges, you can just do them, and uh, you get lucky, and you get spared <laughs> the uh, cramps and the pain and the suffering and the uh, booting. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I like this challenge, so it tastes good, smells great. Um who doesn't love blueberries? Um, not bad. Not not bad. I, I like it. Yeah, I don't really feel any discomfort in my stomach at all. Yet. It'll probably build up in there once it starts percolating and bubbling around and all that good stuff. Let's see what people are saying. Yeah, I don't know how I did that. That's a completely involuntary thing. I have no control over it. So while I'm sitting here wasting my time, uh, this little bell here is uh, Mont Bell. These bells are found, uh, they're sold by shop owners at the base of Mount Fuji in Japan. And if there's going to be an earthquake, the bell rings. To, uh, you know, that also is warning for volcanoes. Um, I had a friend of mine that went to Japan and brought that back for me. And I do a lot of hiking. And so they gave me that to wear on my backpack so that bears could hear me while I'm tiptoeing through the woods. <laughs> and keep the bears away and scare them off, you know. Let them know I'm coming so they get on down the road. Um, I wore it on my backpack for a little while. And it rings incessantly and it's annoying after a while. But it's a great gesture, and it's on my souvenir wall 99% of the time. So there's that challenge knocked out, done, and in the books. So, um, yeah, I still feel fine. And now that the challenge is over, I'm going to have a little sip of coffee. For me personally, um, hot coffee gets the oil, the capsaicin, out of my mouth. 
The burn's not uncomfortable. It's it's minimum at best now. It's faded really fast. <sighs> hey Phil, how's it going, buddy? Um, got another YouTube video for you. Um, I got a Moab I'm gonna be doing soon too. If you know, you know. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, love you. Appreciate you hanging around with me, watching me do my little League of Fire uh, V3. Jug made by Hot Pods uh, and Stephen Dixon of the Hot Pods Chili Company. Owner thereof. Genius. Appreciate you guys. Love you. Hope you have a great night, man. We'll see you guys. Thanks, Lucy. Appreciate you, buddy. Enjoy the uh, race car. <laughs> I couldn't afford to get you the big one. <laughs> Let's see you, man. Love you. Bye.